In a world of high fantasy, low comedy, and special effects wankery, a big studio adaptation of a beloved nerd franchise will turn out not awful, kind of fun, actually funny? Okay, lock the doors. Nobody leaves this room until we figure out how this happened. Dungeons and Dragons, hat, uh, I mean, honor among thieves. You memory hole Dungeons and Dragons 2000. And if you remember the cartoon, your kids are waiting for you to pick them up from school. Now, strap in for a film that takes a wild new approach. What if a Marvel movie were as charming as it thinks it is? With cool magic. Good jokes. But we approved your pardon. And action with some thought put into it. So what if they drop a magic sky beam at the end? It's been a while since we had a good sky beam. I missed you, old friend. When you need a bar to not suck, there's only one Hollywood Chris you should call. He's got the charm, the sex appeal, the magic voice. You saved friendship with his song. And the track record of abandoning mixed race daughters. He told me to trust you when you left me. Pine's got the range, baby. Show me just one thing that Chris Pratt is better at. <sighs> Except making money. Pines Edgin will team up with Michelle Rodriguez as, wait, 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 get this, a tough lady. She's a barbarian with a heart of gold and a tiny man fetish. They'll join Simon, a whiz with no riz. I courted you. You said I made you feel sad. Yeah. Doric the Druid, the only one without any character development because she's too busy getting shit done. And the Paladin Zank, who is clearly an NPC that the DM dropped in to get those idiots unstuck and back on the main quest line. You're much better at fighting and strategy. Pretty much everything. Together, they'll face off against Hugh Grant, who's now just a good bloke who plays villains, instead of back in the 90s when it was the opposite. And the red wizard, Sofina, who's just here to glower until the big bad rolls in for the sequel. Takes solace in knowing that your work here is nearly complete. Please let Jeremy Irons play this guy in the sequel. He deserves another crack at this. Right back to you. Good. I can use every ounce of your rage. Tired of films where the heroes are even momentarily in actual peril? Well, strap in for an adventure they're massively over-leveled for. <laughs> Featuring a team with so much plot armor, their fiercest foe spawns in with diabetes. Where even the one weapon in the entire fantasy universe that can actually hurt someone. It's a red wizard's blade. There's nothing I can do. Doesn't. And the only way they can be defeated is by constantly forgetting magic exists in their extremely magical world. She's caught in the time stop! You'd have thought that you'd have learned that the last time she trapped you. <laughs> See, this is why you always need to bring a paladin, but they just let theirs walk away. So if you want to take the game that's quietly been influencing all pop culture in the background for decades and do it justice on the big screen, why not pick the team that already turned a nerdy game night into a hilarious action comedy? Guys, make sure you get a piece of this cheese. It's just for me. Wait, don't tell me you haven't seen Game Night. What? Oh, you have to see it. In fact, you should pause this video and go watch it right now. There's no pausing. Uh, don't worry, we'll wait. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. No, oh, no, no, no. Ben, oh. ben. <laughs> What? Did you finish it yet? Jesse Plemons, the dog? So good, right? Uh, where was I? <gasps> oh, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. It's good. I bet Paramount is stoked. Oh, uh, well, I bet E1 and Hasbro are celebrating. Okay, someone needs to explain to me how success works in this industry. Starring 369, Bar Chris Pine, Death by Snoo Snoo. If he's lawful good, why did he steal the movie? The Justice Society. Animorph. Oh, the Hugh Grant a thief. Wizards of Shaverly Place. Every franchise needs a Thanos. Gone Girl. Minnie Cooper. AI Art. And Bad Dragon. Google it while you're at work. 
Party of Five. Hi, are you a movie wife? Does your husband insist on staring at you, smiling under white sheets? Run for your life! Fast X comes out this weekend, so we're breaking down the stats on every race. Fight, jump, man hug, corona, family, tank top, and more in an all-new episode of By the Numbers. Huff a take a nos, then click the box on the right to watch now. Just kidding, don't actually huff nos. Bad baby, no squeezes. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, walla walla bing bang. My favorite honest trailer is a tie between Deadpool and Pacific Rim. Now stop asking.